talked about the frost advisory staying in effect till 9 o'clock. We looked at uh, low temperatures in the low 30s out there this morning. But if we look ahead to the afternoon, just fine. We'll be back up into the low 60s. You'll notice a few high clouds today. And uh, the morning lows and the daytime highs are all just a little bit warmer than they were. It's not enough to notice. High clouds will be passing overhead today. You probably won't notice those either. And as we take a look at Monday, there will be a, a bit more of a break of clear sky that comes through for Monday, particularly once we get into the afternoon. Tuesday's different, so I want to advance this and show you what develops on Tuesday morning. A little bit of marine layer out there. In fact, let's we'll bring that back, come in for a closer look, and bring up the visualization of where these low clouds are going to be. You've got Thule fog in the Central Valley. And then you've got a lot of fog filling in the low spots through the bay. Considering what we went through last week with widespread fog being a factor on the morning commutes, keep uh, Tuesday morning in mind. The potential is there that we could be doing that again. Could be another foggy day on Tuesday. And as we look ahead to the rest of the forecast after this, it's Saturday where we start to look at the next chance of rain. And we go to the big picture, you can see the storm track out here, which has really been doing a number on the Pacific Northwest with intense rain. Those storms are gonna get pulled back our way by the, about the Friday to Saturday. Watch the system out here. We're gonna take that and watch it develop into a cutoff low. Look at that just system just spinning out there. We'll watch that again. This is just the Friday into Sunday time frame. This should look familiar. We've had several of these so far this winter. These systems that are not attached to the storm track. They've wound themselves up so tightly they cut off from the jet stream and then there's nothing to move them along. And they just sit there and wander. Now, if we look at one forecast model on this, it says we're probably not gonna get rain through the weekend on that. But that doesn't cut it with these kinds of systems. So we have to look at this a different way. And instead of just looking at one model, we're going to look at the ensemble of many models and take the consensus among them. And that has proven to be the more accurate way of forecasting these very tricky cutoff lows. And watch what this one has to say. We're just going to look at rainfall accumulations. And this one does bring some rain into the bay as we get into Saturday and Sunday. If you look at the time frame up there, we've taken it through to Sunday morning. And by that point, we've got maybe a tenth of an inch of rain or so out of that. So it's not gonna be a lot, but it's another cutoff low right off the coast. And when you look back there, the seven day forecast has been waffling back and forth. So we've had a chance to rain on it and we're still gonna come away with that idea Keep in mind the possibility for a few light showers as we approach next week. And look at the North Bay forecast there. You've got a drop or two. Uh, San Jose, you may not get much out of it, but we know these systems will change as we get closer to them. And we will have many more updates on that approaching cutoff low as we get closer to next weekend.